Hello Techies, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtech Configuration Series. Today's topic is about creating multiple Wi-Fi SID with different IP address. I got a lot of requests to make a video on creating multiple Wi-Fi SID with different IP. I checked on the internet but I didn't find much resources on this topic. What I found was they created multiple Wi-Fi SID but with single IP address block. What they did was they created a bridge interface and they merged all the wireless interface to that bridge and they provided a single IP address block to that bridge interface and you can't get any benefit from there. Just suppose you run a small office and you want to separate your guest Wi-Fi user from your office employee so that you can apply a policy for them like limiting bandwidth or limiting access to certain sites. So it will be easier if you separate IP address for your guest user from your office employee. So today I will show how to create multiple SSID with different IP so that our user will connect to different Wi-Fi name and get different IP from router. And in this scenario, we will create two different SSID and list different IP for them. Then we can apply policy on guest block like assigning limited bandwidth, blocking access to certain sites, these sort of things. In one of my previous video, I have shown how to configure microtech router as access point. And I have kept that configuration, I didn't delete it. I'll take you through that configuration in this router. But if you want to see in more details, you can check my previous videos on YouTube. Okay, let's see the configuration. First, we need to create two different SSID. I've already won. First, you have to click on the interface to see your WLAN interface. Sometimes it will show disabled. So when you see it disabled, you just click on it and then click here turnable it okay let's see the existing configuration click on the wireless you see the WLAN one double click on it in the wireless tab select epi bridge as mode and then give a SID name this name will appear on your laptop or your mobile phone this is actually the Wi-Fi name and then you select the security profile that you have created it's always show as default but I already created a security profile I'll show you from where you can assign that security profile this one just click on the plus sign to create it. In secret profile, we have given a name, this password profile, and we selected WPA to PSK. This is more secure. This is just default. And you give the password here. You typed in here, and and your user will need this Wi-Fi password to connect with your Wi-Fi. Okay. And then I created a bridge interface. Just click on the bridge. I gave uh, my bridge interface is LAN. And the ports are on that bridge Ether4 and WLAN1. Select the interface Ether4 and WLAN1. You can ask me why LAN bridge? Because I have wired connection on Ether4 and Wi-Fi on WLAN1. So my wired and wireless users are in same network. I have provided a single IP address block to that bridge interface. Let me show you the IP address. You can see I have 
1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
out you can give it default 192.168.254 click on the next this are uh, the DNS server that I have got from my ISP click on the next this is the list time just keep default click on next yeah setup has completed successfully we have created our DSCP for our guest user now we have to check our net service otherwise our user will not get internet IP firewall and then nap tab click on the double click on it if you don't specify source address here your any LAN IP will get internet but if you specify you have to create different rule for different IP block click on the actions that's correct so our net service is okay now we will check if our user can connect to guest Wi-Fi and can access to internet okay we can see our guest user already connected to our guest Wi-Fi network and is using internet so that's all for today thank you very much and please subscribe if you need more tutorials on microlink